Are you confused on how to use essential oils? Let's make the Sweet Dreams natural lotion so that you can use essential oils to take care of your skin. With this recipe, you'll go from oh, yucky skincare products to I make my own skincare products using essential oils. Hi, I'm Katie Veltkamp, co-founder of Simply Earth, and I love teaching people how to use essential oils. Turn off your distractions, making us healing. Let's get ready to get started. Here's what you need to make this recipe. For this recipe box, you'll grab Sweet Dreams Essential Oil Blend, vegetable glycerin, and emulsifying wax from your Simply Earth recipe box. From your big bonus box, you'll grab beeswax, almond oil, and coconut oil. And from your home, you'll need a quarter cup of distilled water, a small jar like this one, a thermometer, a hand mixer, and I'm also going to be using GeoGuard preservative. When we make lotions, we combine two mixtures. We combine a water mixture and an oil mixture. These two mixtures have to be the same temperature in order for emulsification to occur. In this jar, I'm going to be making my water mixture. I've already got a quarter cup of distilled water. Now I'm going to add a half teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. I'm going to mix this together and then set it aside. To my oil mixture, I'm going to add two teaspoons of solid coconut oil. Solid coconut oil is rich in fatty acids, which improves the appearance of your skin. It helps lock in moisture and makes your skin nice and soft. Next to my oil mixture, I'm adding two teaspoons of emulsifying wax. Simply Earth's emulsifying wax is naturally derived and easy to use. Next, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of beeswax. Beeswax helps lock the moisture into our skin. Now we need a tablespoon of almond oil. So I've got an oil mixture and a water mixture. In order for these to combine, I am going to heat both of them to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to check the temperature regularly so you don't overheat one of the mixtures. If one gets too hot, you'll have to let it cool down before you're able to mix them. All right, both my mixtures are 150 degrees or within five degrees of each other. So I'm gonna pour this into a slightly bigger jar to help me mix more easily. I'm going to first pour my water and then I'm going to create a tornado with my immersion blender. You can also use a regular blender, hand mixer, or I've even used a food processor before to make lotion. So I'm gonna get a vortex going before I add my oil mixture. Very quickly, our lotion comes together. I wanna make sure that this is a uniform mixture, that I don't see any pockets of oils hanging out. The next step is to let this cool a little bit before we add our essential oils. If essential oils are added at a mixture while it's too hot, they'll immediately evaporate. The temperature of my mixture is 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a pretty good temperature to use with essential oils. So I'm going to go ahead and add 60 drops of Sweet Dreams essential oil blend. So I stir in the essential oil, and as it continues to cool, my lotion is gonna get a little bit thicker. To improve the shelf life, I'm going to be adding GeoGuard preservative, which you carry here at Simply Earth. Adding a preservative to your lotion accurately is going to be tricky without a scale. If you're making this recipe at home and don't have a scale, about 10 drops of GeoGuard is going to be what you need. But depending on measurement error, you may need more or less. My next step is to store it in a container. I'm going to be using this four ounce jar from Simply Earth. And last but not least, we need to label. So I'm going to add this label to my lotion jar so I can remember what it is. It's also always a good idea to add the date you made it so you can help keep track of your product shelf life. You can make this. Let's test it out. I love seeing pictures of things you make. So if you make this, please take a picture and post it on social media with hashtag I made this and tag from Simplier. If you're ready to learn how to use essential oils with confidence and clarity to make your own lotion, you need to make this recipe.